Welcome to that show, those girls. We are those girls. And this is that show. <laughs> How are you doing? Um, yeah, now we are going to broadcast every two weeks because give you guys a chance to uh, to watch it. And, soak and it in. Soak it in because yeah. a lot, a lot of stuff, a lot, a lot of, of fun. Take in ten minutes of intensity. ten minutes of excitement, and then you can replay it in your mind then yeah. for that week. Yeah. And but this week though, I went to talk to DJ Nige. I like to call him DJ Nige. I uh, went up to Dublin City FM. There had a chat with him, DJ, whatever you know. Uh, about the Dunleary Festival of Royal Cultures. Let's take a look at that. Cool. Hello, I am here in the Dublin City FM radio studios and I'm here with Nigel Wood, or I like to call him DJ Nige. So tell me a bit about the Dunleary Festival of Royal Cultures. Well, it's in its ninth year. Um, it's an enormously successful event um, and they present a wide variety of really excellent world music um, in the wonderful setting uh, seaside setting of Dunleary. Who are the big names that you you particularly wanting our viewers to go and watch? Uh, well, the big name is Umu Sangare from Mali. She's uh, a diva of Malian music. Uh, the Warsaw Village Band are a great band from Poland who have played in the festival before. They're playing on the outdoor stage too. And something like Dub Colossus, really, because of the reggae aspect of it, will be very accessible. So there you go, a little bit of information on the Dunleary Festival of Royal Cultures, 29th and 30th of August. I'm definitely going to be there with an open mind to bust down some beats. So there you go, Dunleary Festival of Royal Cultures. We're going to be covering that um, next week. Kate, what are you doing? I'm getting bigger boobs. You're getting bigger boobs? Yeah, it's what Kira Knightley did for Pirates of Caribbean. Why are you doing that? Viewers, ratings. More, more viewers. Kate, like, can All the sexy it? girls on the uh, YouTube... Uh, yeah, no, the, I, I will. I personally hits, want so. to go with the whole intelligence, quantity, hey, dignified look of it. So I don't, I don't think that's going to work. Hey, you got it all you don't So what did you do this week? Fun for fiver. Kate, fun for fiver. I had fun for fiver. Did you? What for did you five do? euro. What did you do? Numerous of things. Sweaty, very horrible and sweaty after a gig. Sweaty and fun. Hot. Hot. How, how did the Puff and Cat come, come about? We had our character called Puff and Cat, which is on YouTube. It's like an online kind of animated series thing. And then we decided to, we wanted to do our own club and we thought, you know, Puff and Cat's cool and, you know, we want to do a live a club, a live thing. So we merged the two together and made the Puff and Cat Club. Yeah, like it's hosted by a sketch group and we get like top comedians in and it's only a fiver like and Yeah, fantastic comedians. Uh, at the last Puffin Cat Club here in Dublin, there were two guys that were here from San Diego and they flew here to watch the Puffin Cat Club. How can uh, people come and see you guys? Like what what's um, is it him? We use Facebook, which is much less interesting. Become friends with Dido Worms on Facebook. Uh, look us up on MySpace. They, they can find it, they find you guys through uh, that show, those girls. So. Oh yes, yes, my favourite new web-based uh, magazine show. Do you think we'll get anyone like that that will come to Dublin and try and find that show with those girls? Eventually. If somebody gave you a superpower of, okay, yeah. invisibility, you could fly. Or sex appeal? Which one would you take? <laughs> I'm gonna, uh, I'm gonna, I'm gonna nick my girlfriend's idea. KP. What's that supposed to mean? I already got one of those. Oh jeez. Um, I have thought about this before in the past because I've seen it asked, and I'm like, oh, I wonder what I would say. Um, oh jeez, it has to be the invisibility. She really wants to be able to fly, okay? But she wouldn't use it to fly somewhere. She just uses it to creep people out. What she do is she'd uh, kind of jump off a curb, but stay in the air slightly too long. <laughs> you can like creep around and like be um, heavy. <laughs> I think I, if I were to fly, I'd probably have it where I just jump right, and then I'd be like just kind of going like this, like edging up slowly, kind of awkwardly. I think that'd be my way of doing it. Because Philippa would be a perv and, and invisibility to spy on people. Oh really? Oh, that's interesting, isn't it? Where is she? Maybe she's right there. Who knows? Well, was mind reading um, an option there? No. No. Mind reading would be pretty cool. Actually. That would have been new. Maybe I'll ask. That one. Uh, yeah, invisible mind reading. I love showing girls that the show. Okay, can I get a me? Me. Bye. So, uh, 
Yeah, that was brilliant. You were comedians again, Comedians. Wasn't? And again. And for Fiverr, all those comedians, fantastic night. Fantastic. Puff and Cat Club. Bleh. Puff and Cat Club, yeah. Very good, yeah. And it's not tongue twister at all, but I need to move since we I can't say it. Puff and Cat Club. Ah. There you go. There you go. Now, um, I would like to move on to our weekly challenge, but also I'd like to point out that the weekly challenge was also kind of a little visit to this really cool thing called Funky Shomer and we'll explain a bit more about Funky it. Funky But I, we had a lot of fun. A lot of fun. So let's um, <clears throat> have a look at that. It's the weekly challenge! Weekly challenge! <laughs> Out and about girls, why not share the love? Your challenge is to go and get as many hugs as you can. Covered in... I think. How did you get on? Give us a hug. <laughs> Give us a hug. <laughs> David Moody, how are you doing? How's it going? Here at the creator of Funky Shomer. Tell me a bit about it. Uh, the Funky Shomer is an alcohol and drug free nightclub and um, it was set up uh, last September. Are there any plans for the future? Um, well, we're down, we're at the Festival of World Cultures um, next weekend. So are we. Oh great, yeah. yeah we're there for the two nights and then we're down in the electric picnic for three nights down there as well. And so am I, so I'll see you Brilliant. there. I'll see you there. Yeah. Thanks a lot. I, I suppose I've been to a good few festivals anyway and I wouldn't necessarily always drink at them or anything like that so um, it's really nice to actually have it's really nice for it to, it's, it's in Temple Bar this week, actually. If someone offered you a free pint, though, would you take it? Possibly. <laughs> <laughs> Half three in the morning. Dancing all night, dancing all night, had some tea, got some face painted, and we aren't drunk. Not drunk, just high on life. Funky Shomra. That's a funky Shomra, I'm going to tell you now. Aces from uh, that show with those girls. Yeah, Aces, Aces from us. That's top, top ten, top ten. Skate yeah. balloons and everything. Getting late now, I can do with that. Uh, trying to go and uh, get a bit of a chipple. Yeah. Public yeah. Guinness is Jager Bomb! Let's go! So, that was a good time, wasn't it? Yo, yeah. Yeah, it was brilliant, yeah. It was yeah. really good. I, I had a good time again I don't know who won that one but I think it looks like you won it so I have to do music choir now yes I'm gonna go and talk to Owen J. Doyle yay See you later what's the CD you have there is absolutely it? this is a present for you oh, oh thanks thanks and the other girl absolutely Kate Kate okay I'm here with Owen J. Doyle, and we're going to be playing a song. What song are you going to play for us? Down by the merry-go-round. Down by the merry-go-round. Play her off there, Joe. Down by the merry-go-round, tunes play as drunks hit the ground. You can slow dance without getting seen. Just drop a penny to the free queen I hear the tune that you love 